you may not be able to use the same concealer. <gasps> I forgot a sponge, oh my God. Oh, it dries so fast. I just ran to get my sponge. Whew, this was good, but it was a close call, baby. It was a close call. Mm. The way I was running in these house shoes, I can't do it on this hardwood, baby. I was about to fall down. We were slipping and sliding a little bit. I was like, oh. What up, it's your girl, Mena. In this video, we are trying out a new foundation. Now, I only have one other NARS foundation. I know it's sick. I've never tried the Sheer Glow because I just recently came around a corner with the whole glow situation. I'm just really into the dewy skin look these days. So with that said, I'm like, let me try out this new NARS foundation because it might just be one of my new jams, all right? So if you wanna see how this new NARS foundation looks on me with a wear test, I want you to keep on watching. Oh, and also make sure you text me and follow me on Instagram. Alrighty, so on the the Sephora site, it says this is called the NARS Light Reflecting Advanced Skincare Foundation. A lot of skincare in products lately, especially since last year, if you've noticed, many products that are usually not accompanied by skincare have skincare in them. For instance, this one. Okay, so there are 36 shades. I ended up choosing Molly and Iguasu. So here's Iguasu, which is D3 for deep with neutral undertones and an olive tone. I tend to like how neutral undertone foundations look on me, not warm sometimes cool but it just depends i'm more neutral mix of both okay so i chose d3 to match the nars soft matte foundation shade that i use and then i chose molly which was very deep with neutral undertones because i like to go a little bit darker and then when i highlight it all comes together so i got those two i skipped over namibia which is in between both of these two that's d4 that one has a warm undertone red undertone that is not what i like i don't like that then i didn't choose zombie because that's d5 and it's also deep with warm undertones i didn't want to choose anything warm. So I went with the neutral, which is D3, and then D6, which is a darker version of D3, okay? Just wanted to explain that in case you're like, ah, oh, the wrong shade. That was my thought process behind choosing my shades. All right, now this is, this gives medium coverage, natural finish. It's an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. Okay, so we got some skincare claims here. All right, first I'm gonna try D3. I think this is my shade. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to use my finger. Mm, I think I could make yes. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. This is my shade. Yes, yes, yes. We got a slam dunk. I'm just surprised. See, just one little swipe ain't going to be enough. You really got to blend it out. Okay. I don't even need to try the D6. I don't even need to. Uh, ooh, but just because I have it, let me show it to you. I'm mean, obviously going to return this one. I don't need it, but I just wanted to get an extra in case. This is looking very, very neutral. Yo, that color really could work for me in the summertime. I might keep this, hold on, look at that. This color really could work in the summertime. I wiped off D6. The nice thing is I'm actually gonna keep both of these because D3 can be my winter color and then D6 can be my summer color when I get darker. Even right now though, I could use any of these. I could use D3 to match my literal skin tone or I can use D6 to go a little bit darker and then I'd have to pair it with a different concealer. If you see my concealer video, or if you've watched any number of my videos in general, I always tell you, for instance, if I were to stick with this one, then my concealer can't be too light because if it's too light, it'll be too much for my face, okay? If I were to take the darker version, which I wiped up by now, but it does match me as well. If I were to use a concealer that is too light, like it's a very bright concealer, it'll give me a very stark difference on my face. It might look too, too light as well. So depending on the shade of foundation that I choose, I've gotta be careful which shade of concealer I wear. Let's just go into that. I am going to do another video with the darker version of this, which is D6. They both match me. I love that. So let's do D3 Iguasu all over my face. Now, first of all, let me just say that I love that it's a liquid, it's a loose liquid formula. So it definitely is giving me skincare vibes. Just some more. I could use my finger like you saw, but I want to go with the brush because that's what I'm used to doing. And then we can pack it on that way. Now, this is not matching to my hairline. This is matching 
something to the middle of my face. So when I go to the outer part of my face, very light application there. But you can see that it, like, it's, like it says, it is medium coverage. So it is covering the brows a bit, which we already know we go over them anyway, like whatever. Microblading, yes. Those are my no makeup brows. And then I have my makeup brow, right? We talked about that too. This looks so dewy. The looseness of the foundation reminds me of the NYX Total Drop, which is very liquidy, not thick, but high in pigment. This is obviously medium, that one is full. Okay, taking some more toward the middle of my face and then building it outward. This is literally my skin tone, wow. Gosh, I could put this on, now I don't do that, because I believe in a full face. Either it's full or it's nothing, okay? I can put this on and then just leave it, <laughs> you know? And then see how I brought the leftover down under my chin just so that there are no harsh lines, no lines of demarcation. Now, I'm not gonna go over the eyelid too much because I don't want it to be dewy, okay? This is a natural finish and natural means hydrated finish. So it's supposed to look good on the skin, okay? Not dry, look at all the dew. Comment below and let me know if you love a natural finish or or do you prefer a more matte finish? The NARS Soft Matte? Baby, it is good, okay? Dry, dry, all right? Dry, dry. So you saw that I didn't prime my face because this finish is natural to me. Natural just means put it on and go, although we are going to build it up and do a full face. But you know, if you wanted to, you can add a hydrating primer to this in order to give your face even more dew. Let's say you live in a cold weather climate or you're, you're wearing this in the cold weather, because you can wear this in the summertime, right? To me, it'll react differently to your skin. But let's say it's cold outside, like wicked cold outside, and you really want to make sure that your skin is hydrated and you have dry skin, then prime with a hydrating primer. If you have combination skin, so just even keel, go right in without it. If you have oily skin, but for some reason you like a natural finish foundation, then prime with a mattifying primer, then go in with something like this with a natural finish and it should even things out. You really do have to match your foundation and your primer to the weather that's outside, to the conditions that you're in. And I have talked about that before. Watch my foundation video, watch my concealer video. It'll all make sense. Or at least it should, okay? At least it should. So because my skin is combination, sometimes feeling kind of dry, it's not too hot outside today. That is why I did not prime my skin at all. Did my skincare SPF, of course. And then I just went in with the foundation. I'll powder my nose midday if I need to, but I am gonna do a wear test. So actually I'm gonna leave it the way that it is. Now, there are different concealers that I could use. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is Fawn. It is warm. It is kind of bright, right? This is an option here. I also have the Elf Cosmetics Hydro Camo Deep Chestnut. This is warm. It's not as bright as the Deep Chestnut in the matte version of it. So the matte version of the Elf Cosmetics concealer is a lot lighter than the Hydro version of the concealer. And I'm saying all this because as I'm sitting here with a foundation that matches my exact skin tone, I want to be sure that my concealer doesn't look crazy. Okay, let's go with the Elf Cosmetics Camo matte version. It's going to be light, but I want that. <laughs> I could have gone with the Hydro one. Let me show you. It is not as light. You see that? This one is warmer. It's darker than this color right here. That's what I mean by picking your concealer based on the shade of the foundation that you're wearing. You may not be able to use the same concealer. <gasps> I forgot a sponge, oh my God. Oh my God, Ooh, this is not every concealer you can just let sit on your face and this is one of them. Oh, it dries so fast. I just ran to get my sponge. Okay, so watch my concealer video. I talk about this and this one in particular dries. This is a matte Elf Cosmetics Camo. It dries very fast. <laughs> Now, when it comes to concealers, just quickly, if you have dry under eyes, this one's not for you, okay? But if you like a matte finish, this one's perfect. And honestly, if you have dry under eyes, skincare. Skincare is your first step. Don't try to cover everything with the makeup. Take care of the skin underneath your makeup first. Skincare, hydration, to just make sure that you take care of the dryness. Oh my gosh, okay. Whew, this looks good, but it was a close call, baby. It was a close call. Mm. The way I was running in these house shoes, I can't do it on this hardwood, baby. I'm about to fall down. We were slipping and sliding a little bit. I was like, oh. All right, middle of the forehead, let's go. Do the V, bring it down the middle a little bit, and down the nose to highlight.
But this sponge is e.l.f. Cosmetics. I do like this. I actually tried it for the first time in my drugstore video. I like it. This thing expands really, really well. And I love the flat side that's on it. I'll link all of this and the products below for you if you want to grab it. So good. This is good. The highlight is not looking too light, but it's definitely there. Now, because this foundation matches my skin tone, baby, the contour that I use can't be too dark. You know, I have been loving the KVD Deep 98 situation. This is going to be mad dark. And sometimes it calls for that, but I don't want that necessarily right now. Let me try the 88, which is what I use on my face. Even though I use 88 on my face, it is dark. You know, I like to go dark sometimes. You know the whole thing, right? If you've been here for a while, you understand that this is a 456 brush. I'm going to take what is my foundation color and see. Okay. You can't see it that much. This would end up giving me a natural contour and it's a no for me now to even things out. Let me just go here and do this. And then we're going to do 98. Okay. We're going to go a little light with it. All right. <laughs> Got a lot of light because this is dork, baby. All right. Now we see it. That little mix wasn't bad though. We might have we found something. Ooh, we went a little dork. <laughs> it's going to look like this in the beginning, baby. Get it into your hairline. We're going to mix it out. Don't worry. I did a poll on my IG stories. And a lot of y'all ain't bringing your contour into your hairline. What is the deal? That ain't good, baby. Maybe you're going to be looking real crazy, real wiggy. Even if it's your natural hair, if you don't bring it into your hairline, you're going to look like you're wearing a wig. Okay. And maybe that's your vibe. You know, I don't want to be offensive, but it's not mine. I want it to look a little bit natural. Hi. Down the sides of the nose, into the eyebrows to really mesh everything together because it looks so good that way. This concealer is definitely giving neutral, I would say, and I like that. Remember, depending on the tone or the undertone of the foundation, that's how I choose my concealers as well. I could have went more warm with this, but no, mm -mm. I like the tone of the foundation the way that it is. All right, let's go ahead and set and blend. Now, I do want to say that although this does have skincare ingredients in it, which I think is great, for me, it'd be a supplement to my standalone skincare routine. I would not ever advise anyone to just do, put like what, Vaseline on your face and then come and try to wear this every day and expect to get some outstanding skincare results. I do believe in focusing on your skincare routine in addition to products like this that can also give you some great results as it says on their site, okay? Now, I've powdered my face. The skin is looking good. Okay, obviously, if you go for a more natural look, you may not even do powder. You might just put this on by itself. You may not do all the highlight and stuff, but I do, and I'm going to do that even though I'm wearing this for the first time. Yo, my skin looks like I haven't done anything. Okay. It's looking real good to me. Comment and let me know what you think about it. It's looking real good. I am loving this. I have to say, I'm prepping my hand with my, my highlighter. I'm gonna link this below and, of course, everything below. Let me get my sponge and continue on and do that. All right, so I finished my brows. I'm gonna do my lip and then we're gonna do the word test. Like I said, this is a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, Lip Cheat, Pillow Talk 3 Intense is the color. And then the lipstick is Maybelline 144, Naked Dare. Ooh, what a beautiful nude combination. All right, so let's just do the wear test and then we'll check in with you and let you know how I'm thinking about this look. But in the meantime, comment and let me know what you think about it. All right, this is our number, I almost said two, our number three with the foundation. I'm using my Canon G7X to show you what it looks like. That's some dryness on my cheeks, so ignore that. I think it looks so good. I love this. My face has not even gotten oily, you know? It just, I think it looks so good. So I'll check in with you again at another time. Here's another check-in. It is five o'clock now. I did this at 12. I have not blotted my face, touched it at all and this is how it looks i think my skin looks really good it looks really healthy i think there's a healthy glow to my skin right now i'll check in again a little later 
All right, it's now six o'clock. Here's another check-in. Here's my face. I have not blotted at all. I just wanted to leave it. I did eat, so I can with the lips, but it's looking dewy, it's looking shiny. It's looking good. My face still looks really, really good. It is now really late and I'm about to go to bed. Ignore the fact that my lip is non-existent because I was just eating chicken wings, okay? <laughs> but the skin still looks really good. I have not blotted at all. Still a healthy amount of glow. Still looks great. My skin looks amazing. If I were to blot my nose, I'm sure it would still look fantastic. And I just love this. I put the two of them back in my kit, so I'm gonna be using them on a day-to-day -day basis because they just look so good. So if you like how this looks, I want you to comment and let me know. Also, make sure you watch some other videos. I'm gonna link them here for you. Two other videos that you should watch. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and also text me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.